It's important in politics to, to react to what really matters, because overreaction is a terrible thing. But was it overreaction to, to be very upset when a politician, and really not a very high-ranking politician, I mean, Keith Ashfield, have you, a fisheries minister in New Brunswick, I'm sure he's a nice man and all that, but it's not Stephen Harper, he's not a major player, although he's a minister, but he was sampling some baked goods um, from a young woman, and he said, oh, you'll make a good wife one day. Look, it's archaic, it's anachronistic, it's probably not the right thing to say, but for goodness sake, it doesn't make him dictatorial, does it? It's not genocidal, it's not Hitlerian. But um, according to <laughs> Deputy NDP leader Megan Leslie, um, she got very upset, and, and uh, in... I don't know if you know Megan Leslie, but she has this wonderful way of smiling the whole time when she's very, very angry. But anyway, she said she wondered if this was Tory policy. But Megan did later uh, uh, cook for me. And... Oh. No, Megan, you will not make anyone a good wife. But Faith Goldie might. <laughs> I am so offended, Michael. No, uh, I, I'm really confused as to what was sexist here. Was it the word wife that was sexist or was it her talents, her skills, those things that now the federal biz, uh, government is in the business of encouraging her, her skills as a good cook? One of two things is happening here, Michael. It's either fraudulent feminism, which is essentially uh, a blind partisanship uh, cloaked as a feminism where, you know, it's the NDP, Megan Leslie or liberal strategist Lisa Kirby, God bless her soul, who, um, who uh, Sun News contributor, let's oh, hold our sorry. horses here, um, <laughs> who, who are, are basically jumping at this opportunity to turn a harmless saying into something sexist. Well, hold on. How, how old was the um, was Grace Moreno who, who this was said I to? I don't know, a young girl. So, a young person. Look, I, as much as I want to make fun of the left who are jumping on this in, in an absurd way, it wasn't, it probably was not the most appropriate thing to say. It probably wasn't the most appropriate thing to say. I disagree. If the really? food tastes good, then it's appropriate to say the you're the a good cook. The food tastes good. Yeah. yeah, that's different. You're a good cook is different from you'll make a good wife. I know. He said you're a good cook, you'll make a good wife someday. And you know what? Pardon me for saying that the neo-feminists out there don't speak for me. You know, those women who attend a Save the Whales rally and then go to a pro-abortion rally in the same yeah. day. Those who are pro-gay marriage but anti-ever getting married hey, look, themselves. I, I've got some Welsh blood. Yeah, we need no. to save whales. Yeah. But <laughs> There are, there are women who think it is, and, and, and forgive me if this is offensive, but they, they think it's entirely appropriate and liberating and feministic to sleep with men for influence and power. But if you want to be a good wife and provide a home, that's somehow anti-feminist. I think being a mother is incredibly vocational and vital and important. I wouldn't use the phrase, I wouldn't say good wife. I, I wouldn't say that. I, I just don't think it would apply. I think it was probably clumsy, but it's not a but big deal. But there is deal. such thing as a good wife. Yes, one there is. who is and faithful a good and a good mother and so on. And, and, and you know what? It's not just cooking, though. There is, I, I understand that. And he never said that it was just cooking, yeah. Michael. And this is why people, I mean, there is a massive rift between saying you will make a good wife and don't try and be anything besides a good wife, which, by the way, even if that was a person's, you know, aspiration, power to them. There is huge social value to being a good mother, a good wife. I, I, I was raised, I went to an all-girls school for 14 years. Yeah. Uh, I was raised very much a matriarchal uh, family. And my mother, not Michelle Obama, not Oprah Winfrey, not Martha Stewart even, is my mother is my role model because she was a good mother, a good wife. Well, I, they're not necessarily the same thing. So I believe being a good mother is incredibly important. And I, I've, I find many female politicians who obsess about the number of women in Parliament rather strange and ambivalent because being a mother is, is vital and it's far more important than being a high-ranking lawyer or dealing with people's taxes. I'm sorry, that's what I believe. But being a wife is something different and it's not the same thing. We have to be a little careful. I, I, look, in a perfect world, I don't believe he would have used that phrase. What I'm irritated by is people pretending that it was particularly obnoxious. The young woman has said, I'm not offended by it. The young woman said, I think we actually have that co quote. If we, we have call that? It, we that? We're, we're not making this up. The girl herself said she's not offended. I feel that it was a compliment. Yeah. I appreciated the thanks. I was not offended whatsoever. And it's unfair that the minister's comment was taken out of context. Taken out of context by left-leaning women who, like you said, would like to see more women in politics and so on. And these women, just because of their genitalia, think that they speak for all women. Well, they don't. They speak for a very, very specific group, an educated group of women that are usually much more prone to liberal values, have one or less children, are frequently living in common law relationships 
relationships. That's a specific niche area of women that you were talking about. Mm. So do not claim to speak for all women. I, for one, was not offended. I have actually gone to cooking school. I have taken classes. And I hope, I hope to God that I will be a good cook when I'm older. And I hope that I can provide for my, my family in that way. I haven't been to cooking school. I'm not school. ashamed to say it. I have been to eating school, but generally <laughs> I, I'm just a very talented amateur. You got into a bit of a dispute, though, with someone about this, did you not? Yes, Lisa Kirby, uh, Sun News contributor. I think we've got some of the tweets there. It, I mean, it was a civil war on Twitter, but we've got one or two over there, don't we? Do we have some tweets? There, there it is. Go. Lisa Kirby. If it was a young man who did the cooking, would the minister tell him he'd make someone a wonderful that's wife a pretty, one day? Am I allowed to say that's a pretty moronic thing to say? Uh, well, I'm, uh, I'm not sure check I'm out to. my response. But, but, uh, no. Dunno. Uh, gay marriage is legal here, so maybe. But, yeah. Obviously, what she meant was good husband. Yeah. I mean, it, it, no, if, if a guy said, I, I believe in responsibility and taking care of people and fidelity, and if you said to him, you'll make a good husband, yeah. well, nothing wrong with that. Absolutely not. I've met people, actually, I met someone in the airport. Uh, I was coming back from Ottawa, and he was talking about how, you know, he thinks that the role of an important, um, uh, the role of father is very important, and he was a uh, believer himself. He said, I want to be the Christ figure inside my house. And I said, you are going to make a great father someday, and you're going to make a great husband. Whoever gets you is going to be a lucky Is this lady. a religious issue then, Faith? <laughs> you know, we could turn this around uh, to talk about the fact that Megan Leslie and several other women within Parliament don't want to talk about gender side, don't want to talk about how females are being aborted within the womb. Uh, uh, no, let's not do that. But all of a sudden you say <coughs> you make delicious cookies. Well, I, ha I have to say, Texas. because the juxtaposition is so obvious, Within hours of Meghan and her comrades saying, you mustn't even mention in Parliament the fact that babies in the womb are being slaughtered only because they're girls. Within hours, she was attacking a man for daring to say to a teenage girl, you're a great cook, you'll make a good wife. And once again, I think the comments probably were a little crass, but they don't matter very much at all. The reaction is what we should talk about. The reaction was extreme and extraordinary. And it, it was exploiting a young woman who was apparently rather flattered by this and a minister who's of a certain age and background who used a phrase that I probably wouldn't use myself, but it doesn't matter. Well, the hypocrisy of the left, I mean, is one thing in and of itself, but I just want to, I, I cannot be clear enough about how much we should deny, reject this new age feminism that says wifey characteristics, that marriage is a sexist institution. Mm. It's not. How the heck did you get here? You know, I understand not all marriages are perfect. Sexy? <laughs> oh, can I be mad for 25 years? It is it's sexy at the beginning, but no, anyway. No, a sexist institution, oh, okay. Michael. Um, would you like a cookie? I baked it myself. Uh, you know what? Actually, I bake better cookies. Okay, well, I'll, I'll throw... <laughs> Thank you very much indeed. You're welcome, Michael. <laughs>